in the spinal cord to filter out signal signals going and going to the brain. Serotonin and thermogenesia. Serotonin, 5 hydroxytryptamine, is a hormone in the pineal gland, in the digestive tract, in the central nervous system, and blood platelets. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter between the neurons, a vasoconstrictor. Its role in the regulation of learning, mood, sleep, and vasoconstriction, loss of serotonin causes fibromyalgia symptoms like anxiety, migraine, less appetite, vomiting, and headache. Nerve growth factor in fibromyalgia. Nerve growth factor was four times higher in the spinal fluid with fibromyalgia. It alters physiology of nerve connection, interconnect, interconnection between the delta and C fibers with the beta fibers which is which produces allodynia. Substance B in CSF is three times higher than fibromyalgia. Substance B, the neurotransmitter in spinal fluid, is the neurotransmitter that is released when axons are stimulated. Increased levels of substance B increases the sensitivity of nerves to pain. Growth hormone produced during delta stage sleep is involved in tissue repair. Therefore, to stop the stage 4 delta sleep in fibromyalgia causes low levels of growth hormone. Growth hormone stimulates the production of insulin-like growth factor 1 in the liver. Patients with fibromyalgia have low levels of growth hormone 1. In fibromyalgia, there is low adenosine triphosphate in RBCs and decapitoids. Low platelet serotonin due to low platelet ATP. Cellular function is disturbed due to low ATP due to excessive accumulation of phosphate, which is not clear due to faulty exertion in fibromyalgia. ATP is required to clear intracellular calcium for muscle consumption. Low ATP explains fatigue. Fibromyalgia may, do, may be due to non-restorative deep sleep, insomnia, also an increase in symptoms after disturbed sleep, abnormal alpha activity. Two types of glia cells activity, microglia and astrocytes, cause pain. Cytokinase produced by glias, elevated in fibromyalgia, useful for communicating with neurons and cells in the immune system. The pathogenase referred to pathogenase involved causing chronic disease according to Marshall theory or Marshall protocol. The TTH1 pathogens cause the body's own cells to release inflammatory cytokines, which is immune chemicals, which cause fatigue, pain, and inflammation. The reason these TH1 pathogens are able to infect and proliferate in the patient, according to Marshall's protocol, is a result of abnormalities in vitamin D metabolism and specifically the inactive, the inactivation of the vitamin D receptor VDR, which switches on the innate immune system and protects us from infection. Activation of the VDR also increases production of antimicrobial peptides, which kill pathogens such as viruses, bacteria, and fungi. In those infected with THI pathogens, substances they produce block the VDR and cause the innate immune system to be switched off. Therapy to decrease pain and the associated symptoms, multimodal therapy suggested. Tricyclic antidepressant and fructidine, SNRI, serotonin, neuroepinephrine, reuptake inhibitors, deloxetine, milnacepram, gata, pregabaline, or gabapentine, 
multiple persons, carbamazepine, tramadol, SSRI, selective serotonin, reuptake inhibitors, fluoxetine. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor, uh, uh, for this uh, difficult situation that we can see. Uh, we will get with you with the access to the because we don't have to ask you again. Okay, can you give me one question about the practice with the other one? Okay. Just to give you one more question, I said it's very important to me. Okay. Anything about fibromyalgia? Fibromyalgia. If not, I'm going to ask a question. Thank you, Dr. Hunt. It's really one of the most uh, sophisticated, the most complex, the most difficult syndrome. And you could ask the problem that every single patient in this floor has the same symptoms. Fatigue, general violence, sleep, blood disease, all this stuff. And you showed us uh, many single bones and figure bones. How do you define these figure bones? I mean, is it easy or should we go to the expert like you, and one of the most difficult syndromes I'm dealing with actually is this syndrome. Can you help me? The, these trigger points are 11 of 18. From, from the back, it's, this is near the scapula and in the paravertebral uh, region and in the cut and in the, the, uh, the forward. Uh, How do you find it? Pressing, it's pressing. Just by pressing. Just, just pressing. And the, uh, in, in the uh, forward, in the anterior, it is, it is, uh, it is second, second uh, strip, second uh, rib, and in the, uh, in the cut, and in the near the knee, and this is all the two to two, it is 11 to 18. Your drugs only would be drugs. You put anticonvulsants, antidepressants, SSRs, and you put tramadol. Are these the only drugs you are using? That's anticodine or tramadol is used, and mostly antidepressants and anticonvulsants are very useful. No, no intervention and surgical intervention. Surgery or any? No, no. About Thank you. Just one thing. According to the International Association for the Study of Pain, they are dealing with this uh, myofascial pain. You remember that for a couple year about it. Uh, the lifestyle of the patient should be modified in one way or another, which is really 